Greetings, friends. The first comic book we will be looking at is Astonishing Number 11 from 1951. This was published by Atlas with Stan Lee as editor. This particular issue is rather special to me because on the interior of the comic book, The Last of Mr. Mordell, this particular story was penned and inked by Joe Sinnott. When I went to interview Mr. Sinnott for my documentary film Haunted Thrills, he signed it, as you can see on the top there. But as you can see on opening the book, you can see a bit of staple rust and rust migration. The main problems with this are a bit of spine split on the top and as you can see going down there's some issues here at the first staple and then in the kind of in the middle here there's a spine issue and of course at the bottom staple a variety of problems there on the spine so we're going to see if we can fix those problems repair them with transparent mending tissue. Now this is the product by Laneco and it works very well. I have already measured and cut pieces of the mending tissue for the various issues on the spine. Since we have a slight spine roll on this comic book it actually makes it a little easier because what we're going to do is apply the tape right along the line. And what we want to do is carefully wrap the tape around to the back. And then on the back, we want to work that in. Once again, you want to use something like the end of this screwdriver. And just work the tape in. As you can see, we have the back. You can clearly see how bad it is with the other, especially with the two middle parts. See if we can get this piece, which is just barely hanging on. There we go. Well, it's definitely, it's there. It's cooperating. Because I want to make sure this piece is going to lay flat now. I'm going to cut a shorter piece for this back. This piece is going to be used simply to anchor this back piece. Now it looks pretty darn good. The idea here is to get it pretty much right on the staple. You want to do that because it will help stabilize the staple as well. You can't really do anything about the rust migration. It's there, it's gonna stay, and that's just the name of that tune. So this piece has slightly overlapped that smaller back piece, which is fine, in my opinion, because it further stabilizes the area. Now let's move on to what will no doubt be the most difficult part multiple issues here. As you can see, it's just a horror show, folks. I'm going to have to put a piece, a smaller piece here first. All right, now I have the smaller piece of tape. I'm going to carefully apply right to the front here. going to overlap a little bit, but there's no way around it. You've got to get it on there. And on the back. And that worked out really well. You can see this is pretty bad. This piece is just ah, bad news, folks. All the way around. It is folded inward.
Now I have and it successfully folded it outward. Yet another piece here. You can see that's been folded back. So now I gotta fold that forward. And I've got two pieces. Because you're gonna be putting a piece all the way across there. It is the only way to get this thing right, in my opinion. So here we go with the entire piece. There we go. And that works pretty well. Now you may be thinking to yourself, well, Mike, why didn't you clean it first? There's a certain amount of dirt here. I can tell you some of the stuff is not going to come off. Some of it will, but if I went in and tried to clean this while these problems existed, they would become worse. There's no doubt about it. The fragility of the spine cannot be understated. There's no way that you're going to come in and clean it without repairing it first. It must be repaired and then cleaned. Is it a big piece? And it is going to go over the entire thing right along the white of the spine. First, trying to avoid the purple of the cover as much as possible. Let's get a before and after so you will see exactly what I'm talking about here. I'm going to bring it up. Now there is still this tear here as you can see. I'm going to carefully lift that right there. After I repair the front, I'm going to see if I can get some mending tissue on the back of this, the back, on the inside cover, and see if we can fix that. This is a hopeless case. Right here, it's literally a hole, folks. I'm going to get the spine here, and hopefully the staple covered. I've got the piece of tape, now I'm going to carefully put it right on the staple. Carefully, right on the line. There we go. What I must do is fold the tape over. And now we're on the back. I'm very pleased with that. I'm pretty satisfied now. With the way the spine is, I'm going to open up the, the cover, and you can see it already. You've got stability. The only thing, you've got a tear here from the staple. You've got a rip there. And there it is. Well, at least that is stabilized, folks. That's all you can really do with it. At least it's not an open tear anymore. I can't do anything with this hole, unfortunately, as you can see here. Now, we have a much more stable book. And that is the key issue right there with the lovely Joe Sinnott signature on the last of Mr. Mordeaux. So let's see what we can get off this cover, shall we? So I got a bit, right? It's It's got that consistency. It does have a Play-Doh consistency. I want to roll it into a cylinder. The idea with this, the way I do it, is that I roll it like that. Now you want to be careful of the edges. You don't want to backtrack because you may catch an edge and rip something. So I'm rolling it right across. I 
I'm going to roll it this way along the top. It wants to lift up that cover, you see? So you got to be very careful along the edges. But you want to get the ed edges, no doubt. That's probably where most of the dirt is. And now you can see that it has actually picked up dirt and stuff from the cover. I'm going to take the brush and just brush off. You see, it does leave some of that absorbing. So you want to make sure you brush that stuff off. And what you end up with is at least a cleaner cover, folks. That's it. It's not going to work miracles. You know, if I had stains on the lettering, I'm not going to get those out. The stains typically will work into the paper, so that's a no-go. But with just typical surface dirt, film, stuff like that, fingerprints, yes, it's going to take those off. I think one of the main things is now you can open it. It's pretty stable, so I'm very happy with the repair and cleaning of Astonishing number 11. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video, and as always, please like and subscribe. Thank you.